Several Filipino voters abroad complained about receiving pre-shaded ballots during the first week of overseas absentee voting. After initially dismissing such reports, the Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, said it would find out why the supposed spoiled ballots were mixed with the official ballots. There had been claims and reports of pre-shaded ballots in Singapore and Dubai. But the Department of Foreign Affairs denied such reports in a Senate hearing. Foreign Affairs Undersecretary Brigido Dulay explained that what happened was human error only. There is no truth to the allegations circulating in social media that pre-shaded ballots were distributed to overseas voters except for that incident in Singapore where uh, it, there was an impression that a pre-shaded ballot was given. But we would like to call out uh, the news circulating about this. Uh, in so far as the reports of our posts are concerned, the alleged uh, distribution of uh, pre-shaded ballots are fake news. Uh, by virtue of a human error, uh, when the uh, ballot was given out uh -huh. to the voter, uh, nakatikit po yung uh -huh. balota. So, meron pong dalawa na naibigay dahil po yung sa imprenta, magkatikit okay. po siya. And when this ballot was filled up, the voter actually filled up two ballots. Uh -huh. Kasi po magkatikit eh. So, when this was uh, brought in to the DCM, Nakita naman po yung isa. And that was considered a spoiled ballot. And this was placed, again, partly due to human error. This was mixed or placed in the receptacle for, unused, for the unused valid ballots. Meanwhile, the COMELEC can't confirm if the said ballots were authenticated. If uh, the allegation is that uh, two ballots were given, so it must have been authenticated on the first page only because uh, there's no the need to one. look at, at the back page because there's no authentication of the IC chairman. In a previous interview with Comelec Commissioner George Garcia, he said their anti-fake news task force will investigate the reports of pre-shaded ballots.